Good morning all you beautiful people and welcome back to yet another video tutorial. If you'd like to see more videos then don't forget to hit that subscribe button or that bell button to receive updates whenever I upload a brand new video. Now, I don't know if you can hear this but it's raining really really badly here and um, I thought I'd brighten up the day by making a nice bright yellow open garden rose similar to the ones that I've got in my garden. And I've got a variety of colours. I've got some pinks, I've got some reds, I've got some oranges, and I've got one plant that's blooming in different colours, in darker pinks and lighter pinks, and even in ombre. We can't compete with nature, but we're still going to attempt to make an, a realistic open garden rose. So let's begin. So for the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start making our petals. Now this is a fairly quick rose to make so I've already coloured it in a nice yellow and remember when you're all, when you're doing wired flowers or leaves you always want the bottom part of the wire of the flower to be a little bit thicker than the top it and that is a must for every single wired flower or leaf that you make otherwise it will just end up tearing if it's too thin and you'll be able to see your wire or it'll just um, come away from it from the groove that's already been designed to insert your wire so Just roll it out nice and thin. And we're gonna do we're gonna use three different size petals today for this particular rose. It's because I was looking very closely at the one that's bloomed in my garden and it has really small petals in the middle as well right next to the stamens in the center so our aim is to make it as realistic as possible and we can't do that without adding every little detail of the natural ones and i like my petals really nice and thin So once you've rolled it out, we'll push it away and peel it away from the board. And can you see how nice and thin that is? And we're just going to cut out three of the smallest ones and just put them in our storage board. And then we're going to do medium petals. I like to have um, a full bloomed sort of uh, open rose. So I'm going to be adding a few. So I'm, I've just done three of the smaller ones and four of these medium sized ones. And then do five of the larger ones. So go ahead, cut out all your petals. You can use as many petals as you want and we'll come back once we've cut them all. So once you cut out all your petals, we're just going to grab a petal and we're going to dip our 26 gauge white floral wire into the sugar glue and just insert it into the petal. And the reason you use white wires for bright coloured roses is that you can't see them once they've been inserted into the petal. If you were to use a green wire on this, I've just done an example of how it would look. You can see the green wire coming through, but it's not coming away from the petal. It is still inside the petal, but you can see it outside when you look at it. And I don't really like that. 
so I prefer to use white wires on light bright colors and for darker colors I'd use the green wire and all we're going to do is we're just going to thin it with our ball tool Then we're just going to put it in our veiner and I'm just going to put some cornstarch into the veiner so it doesn't stick to the petal. And with the groove side facing down, bend the wire if need be. And just place the top veiner on top and just press firmly. Now, when doing this step, it doesn't matter if the petal tears a little bit because that will just add to the realisticness of the petal and that's what you'll get. And then I'm just going to brush the extra cornflower off using a brush. And I'm just going to place it on this foam tray over here just to give it a bit of movement and that's all we're going to be doing for these petals for the center petals i'll use this foam and for the outer petals i'll use the apple tray and i'll quickly show you how i'm going to be placing them in there as well so once again dip your wire in the sugar glue and insert it all the way in then just pinch it to secure it add some corn flour to both sides to the, either the veiner or the petal doesn't really matter and then thin it Veining the petals just makes them really thin. Bend the wire and then just press firmly. And for this outer petal, I'm going to use the apple tray. And I'm not going to curl or bend the wires, bend the petals, sorry. I'm just going to pop it in there and let it take that natural cup shape. And I'm not going to flatten them out too much. I'm just going to place them in there and, and just let them take that natural form. And I'm just going to do the rest and I'll come back and show you once they're all done. So once you've done all your petals, um, I've put some in the apple tray um, without really straightening them out too much and I've put some on the former here um, excluding that one because that was just um, the example that I was showing you how the petals would look with a green wire and I've not kept them all the same I've tried to do them a bit differently so I've put one inside the actual former and I've put one on top of the pointy bits of the former and with these ones I've just placed them in and just left them there I've not straightened them out or taken out all the curves too much I've just popped them in just like so and I've just left it like that and um, so that's what you want to do really um, and if you you can also just push in the center a tiny bit if you want the petals to be more cupped and um, so once they're fully dried we'll come back and assemble the flower and this should take around 10 to 15 minutes for them to dry completely you don't want to be using them once they're half dried and they're still a little bit wet because otherwise the wires can come away from the petals so you want to wait until they're fully dry and then assemble the flower so we'll be back shortly so now that the petals are completely dry um i sp just speeded up the process and i put them in the oven for them to dry faster and i've just taken them out of the oven and let them cool so if you are going to um speed up the process and use the oven to dry your petals then you you definitely want to let them cool down before using them or taking them out of the apple tree because as they cool is when they harden up if you take them out as soon as the as soon as they come out of the oven they'll still be soft and they'll ruin their shape so over here i've got the three smallest ones and can you see how 
the, how wavy they are and you can use these petals however way you want to so because there's no right or wrong in, use, in using these petals so you can use them whichever side you prefer and they've all got that nice cup shape so you can either have some like that facing the cup shape facing inwards or you can have some the other way so the petals are falling off that's completely up to you because when you look at real roses that's exactly how they are each petal is different so over here i've just got some stamens and now these were yellow stamens which i've just dusted in some nutmeg brown some normal brown and some egg yellow and i've just tied them up and i've looked at the real ones in my garden i've taken a picture and i've noticed that these ones are clustered in and we've got some darker ones um just outside here and there on the outer side and i've just got some a floral tip here that's that's what we're going to be using to assemble the flower and what i'm first going to do is just stretch it to release the glue and just go around the stamens section first and then i'm going to put our first petal bending the wire ever so slightly And you want to tape all the way where the wire is of the petal. And then I'm going to add my next one. And I always say this, but I find wires fl wired flowers are really easy to make because all you need to do is wire them and put them in an apple tray for whatever shape you want and then just leave them to dry. And then our third petal over here. And they are all at the same height. just like so and then i'm going to place our medium petal in between these ones now with these you can either place three and have some additional ones you don't have to use all of them and you don't have to um, have them perfectly positioned so just go with the flow and do whatever you like and position them however you like with these petals And as we get towards the end of the petals, we can start opening them up a lot more than the centres. Then just keep going. Can you see how beautifully it's coming together? And then I'm going to go ahead and start adding my final layer. And then once we've added all the petals will open the flower up a little bit more I'm just going to add the last one here as well and I'm just going to get some more floral tape and secure that right to the bottom
and you just want to bring that all the way down just tear it off And then we're just going to open them up slightly. And there we have our beautiful open garden rose. This looks just like the one outside and I'm so thrilled with how this looks. You'll notice that I've not curled back or rolled any of the petals because the one that's in my garden is exactly like this one. It's all more or less cupped and hasn't got that much um, any rolling of the petals or anything like that. So that's why I've, I've kept it just like that. And if you want to open the petals even more, you can. Just so they look like the, the falling off from the flower and if you want to close it you can as well but um if you also want to add more petals and make the rows a bit more full and you can you can go ahead and do that as well or you can add add less it's completely up to you and um, remember there's there's lots of varieties of these flowers and you can make them however you want there's no right or wrong way with making sugar flowers like this so just do what you please but I would leave it like that because I find that that looks perfect and I love the colour as well and once you look at this once it's on a cake you won't be able to tell that there's any wires in there because of the white wires that we used if you were to use green wires in this then you would be able to tell that there's wires in there and that's what we don't want I can almost smell it it looks that real oh my god I love it I love it and on that note, this video comes to an end. I hope you've enjoyed this garden rose tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. And don't forget to hit that bell icon as well if you would like to receive notifications when new videos go live or any announcements that take place on my channel. So if you want to receive those, then definitely um, click that bell icon which is next to the subscribe button. Don't forget to like, comment and share my videos as well. I've also got a Facebook group if anyone would like to join and I will leave the link for that in the description box below. And I'll be back next time with another new video very soon. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching and happy flower making.